Saturday is Earth Day, so we're going to put you to the test with some fun facts that'll make you ask, what on earth? Hoda is across the street at the shop at NBC Studios in 30 Rock, ready to hand out $100 to anybody who gets the questions right and those who don't get a signed copy of her book. Here with me is the CEO of the Planetary Society and author of Jack and the Geniuses, a genius himself, Mr. Bill Nye, everybody. Hello. Uh, hi. All right, you ready to play? Yes, ready All right. for the uh, hilarious science uh, interaction. Let's see. All right. Okay, Oda Woman. All right, we got some big Bill Nye fans out here. What's your name? Antoinette. All right, where are you from, sweetie? South Jersey. All right, let's play. Here we go. The largest snowflake on record had a reported diameter, that's across the middle, of 7 inches, 10 inches, or 15 inches. I'm going with B. She's going with B. Uh, oh! oh but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think you have something to demonstrate. Well, this. you guys made this, uh, this 15 inches, so it was in Montana someplace in the 1870s. Did they have enough rulers then? How do we know? I think they had rulers that yeah. were accurate, so you got to have just the right conditions for the snowflakes to stick together and make it all the way to the ground. Whew. Very impressive, but it, that would be a big snowflake. That yeah? would be a very large one, and yes. And normally the wind uh, breaks them up. Okay, but, good. Uh, you know, it's, it's um, chaos, so the pattern repeats, 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 and it gets bigger and bigger. Okay, Hoda. Right. <laughs> we have a birthday girl. What are we celebrating today? 60. Tell me your name. Nancy. Nancy, birthday girl, I think you're going to win. I feel lucky for you. All right, ready? When you drop this item into a glass of freshly poured champagne, it will bounce up and down continuously. Is it a raisin, a peanut, or a carrot? Ask your son. B. B. Her son. Uh, no. Oh. Okay, Bill, what's the answer? So the answer is raisins. Uh, you put this as a classic science teacher demonstration. So you see the bubbles. Yes. That's, it's like the... He uh, likes it. Likes it's the like champagne. the Mentos in the, uh, in, the, in the Coke. So the bubbles will uh, stick to the raisin, and then the raisin will rise to the surface and sink. And it is a classic question. You show a, a student this, and you say, is it alive? And then here, if one's no, so going up, carrot, just carrot right down. I think you're going to see a lot of bubbles, but, but that's going to be it. What about a peanut? What about a peanut? Uh, you see a lot of bubbles. There it okay. goes to the, top. Right up to the top. It may work just but fine. But that raisin is holding on. All right, uh, hold on. I was hoping it would rise, which oh. is, <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> what's your name? Chuck Williams. And where are you from, sweetie? Cortland, Virginia. All right, what's your name? Tony. Come on, Tony. Let's play. What is the closest point in, to space on Earth? What? Wait, what is the closest point to space on, the, space on Earth? Is it Mount Everest, Mount Chimborazo, or Mount Kilimanjaro? Mount Everest. He says Mount uh, Everest. Oh, Wait a minute, what? we're on a roll. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard of the answer. What is it? Uh, Chimborazo's in, in the Andes. So the Earth spinning yes. bulges out at the middle, so it lifts the mountains in the Andes Even a little higher. closer to space. That's a, it's a little bit of a trick question. I like it, though, Bill Nye, science guy. It's okay, a little bit. Hoda. All right, this one is a big question because you know what? If you lose, and you might want to consider losing, sweetie, yeah. you get Kathy Lee's. Party Animals book. This one is worth $1,000 on eBay because Melania Trump read it on, at the White House. What's your name? Go. Christina. All right, Christina, I think that you're going to get this. All right, are you ready? True or false? There are no black flowers on Earth. True. Is it true? It's true. Wait. Wait. It's, it's true. It's true. So she gets $100. Oh. And. And. Hopefully she'll put that towards her college fund if she uh, sells uh, it. <coughs> yes, uh, well, well, as long as the authrix is pleased with that. Yes, 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 I am. Now, what about the black flower? No such thing. Uh, they're very close, though. There's a lot of dark flowers, but I guess they're not quite black. What do you mean you guess? You're Bill Nye the okay, science guy. Okay, okay. Uh, Yes, there are no black flowers. Thank you, Bill, and thank you for uh, being so with us. So here's today. the thing, though. No, we have no time. So sad. Okay. <laughs> it's surprising. Why not soak up all the sunlight? Apparently, chlorophyll is the best evolution could do. Here we are. Here we are, Enjoy Bill. your vegetables. Happy Earth Day to you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.